okay this is the test pane we just created and this is the wind form okay so that's how you can do it now let's take care of um, these dynamic drop downs um, so this we have done this label dynamically and then these are two buttons that launches the task pane and the user form uh, in this group we'll take care of two examples one will be dynamic menu and then one will be static uh, drop down okay let's call this drop down and um, we've gone through this example in our Raven X series again there are all all these resor resources are there anytime you don't find anything uh, some of the links in the video description could be broken so you can directly search from here as well okay um, okay so how I got here is from this particular uh, link and once you go here you'll see here is a sample for the drop down similarly there will be sample for all of them now going back to our XML here um, for this drop down I think we can use this for now we can just get rid of this line so these are item 1, 2, 3 and 4 let's put item um, let's say London let's call this as city something like this the label and the ID I'm just gonna put it same maybe New York oops just make it bigger okay this cannot be blank the ID and next is gonna be maybe um, Delhi and then uh, we can even have a button here if you want uh, we'll just leave this as um, maybe Budapest then like this okay and if you want action you can assign it uh, here so maybe here on action uh, let's call this location something like this that will be the name of the code now let's take care of the callback as well uh, I'm just gonna close this for now even this we don't need it at the moment okay so let's take care of this callback I believe just location on action is gonna call location code and here we can add a couple of things more maybe like variable text as string again this callback signature can be cannot be modified uh, it has to be exactly how it is already specified uh, these are the only parameters that can go in here uh, and then maybe like index as uh, integer okay so here we can return message box maybe just variable text and then index okay let's give it a shot Okay, took longer to load up. Okay, so the city, this is the button, and then here's London, the index is zero, New York, Delhi, and 
put up this we didn't put a button for that so let's try that quickly um, so again if you're already familiar with this you can you know like fast forward this da, da, da. so button here we use this so for this button as well we can do this thing for Budapest the label is this and then on action we can call this code Okay, so this is working. So based on the selection of the user or uh, element, you can run specific code within the add-in to do certain tasks in the work current workbook, for example, or maybe pull in something from based on these parameters or criteria. You can pull in something from external, you know, like sources. Okay, I'm gonna close this, and now we will talk a little bit more on how to construct this dynamic menu. Now let's try the dynamic menu. Um, these are combo box, but instead of that, we'll try the dynamic menu. Um, so quickly going back to our um, RibbonX uh, episode for um, VBA. Uh, 